Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn about interface in object oriented programming. If I go to Google and search for object oriented programming, what is an interface? Uh, you can see we have some links here and if I go to the images section here, let us see some images for interface and if I can show you this this says an interface is a contract consisting of a group of related functions prototype whose usage is defined but whose implementation is not now this can be a little confusing so i will uh, show you something else i will just say interface and here you can see we have already learned about abstract classes and interface you will find something similar to abstract classes where we have abstract functions now in abstract class we could also have concrete functions as well as abstract functions whereas in interface all the functions are by default abstract and we do not even use the abstract keyword so when an implementation is unknown and we only have like some specifications then interface is a suitable choice if we know the implementation partially we should opt for abstract class uh, here every method is always public and abstract whether we declare the keyword or not here every method needs need not be public in addition to abstract methods we can also have concrete methods and we have seen that and here you can see the method modifiers and also i will show you some other image to make it more clear and i will also show you an example a practical example for interface so here let me see if we have a better image to explain interfaces and here we have something so let me just go and show you practically how this is done although we have some things which can be a little complex to understand so it's better i go to the uh, id and show you here if i go to the definition definition of interface an interface is a programming structure that allows the computer to enforce certain properties on an object of a class so for example say we have car class scooter class and truck class each of these three classes should have a start engine action how the engine is started for each vehicle is left to the particular class but the fact that they must have a start engine action is the domain of the interface so this will be more clear when I create an interface I will go to my project and in the package I am going to create a new package called interface demo and inside this package I am going to create a new and search for groovy and I will say groovy type now here you can see I am directly getting an option to create an interface if you are not getting it's ok you can go with class and then you can change it so I will say interface and I will say this as car and finish and you can see it says interface car this is not a class but an interface and now I can have all the methods that I want to implement in the child classes so I will say uh, I will say start engine stop engine and so on so all the methods that I want to be implemented in all the child classes of this particular interface I can put them here and then I am going to create a new class I will go to new other groovy and class and I will say Toyota and say finish and now here in the abstract in the inheritance we used to do extends now here I will say implements so for inherit uh, for the interface we implement I'll say implements and I will say car it is coming from this car interface demo and as soon as I do this you can see we have got an error so that means if I hover over here, here it is saying that we have to implement all the methods can't have an abstract method in a non abstract class and we need to either implement or make this as declare this class as well as abstract so I will say add unimplemented methods I will click here and you can see it has added all the methods that were there in our interface and now I can just add my method body here so you see the difference with abstract classes in abstract class you could have concrete methods as well in interface we do not have that and then the use of interfaces whenever you want to create a kind of a contract so for example here I want that every 
car object or every class that implements that this interface should implement all these actions I can define them in an interface and then I have to implement them in a class that will implement the interface so this is how we create and declare interface and this is how interfaces are used I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching